here we have a 12 inch Sears oscillating fan. I showed a video of the 16 inch version of this. It was either last week or the week before. Well, this one showed up on Marketplace and I scooped it up today locally. Gotta love when that happens. Side view, you can see the base is quite yellowed, which kind of goes back to what I was saying in the video on the 16 inch fan that I don't really think that Lasco made these bases. I know Lasco made the fan head for sure and the blade, but the bases. I'm pretty sure that those are the same bases used on a lot of the um, like generic Taiwanese super deluxe crossover brands, Toes Eyes and the uh, the uh, Gulfstream fan. There might have been a Kuo Horn. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember all of them, but. The deep yellowing of the plastic would indicate a similar type of plastic that's used on those fans that are just notorious for yellowing. Not much of the fraying, like the brittle fraying, maybe a little bit on the bottom, the back there, or that could just be how it was cut from the mold. I don't know. Uh, model numbers 453. 80, 120, 0.37 amps, same as the usual, per the usual Glasgow Galaxy 12 inch of this period. And it seems to be in pretty good shape, except the yellowed plastic, which at least it's not brittle and falling apart. I can live with that. I wonder if it was actually like a cream, more of a cream color. It seems like the 16 inch version of this was almost like a cream colored plastic, but this is like, uh, this looks like tobacco yellowing or sun fading, not sure. I doubt that it's gonna clean up very well. Might get like some of the scuffs and stuff off of there, but I think it's, I think the yellow is there to stay. I guess there's met methods for whitening the yellow and stuff like that but I haven't had time to research it or figure it out yet it's got the same same guard same handle same shell motor housing two-piece shell LMP per the usual plug for the Lasco fans of the time. And even if it is cheap plastic that yellows like nobody's business, for what it is, I do like the design. I think that's cool. And the buttons work really well. I like how it's kind of recessed and centered there, like piano keys. And then it's just very minimalist, but also like super retro badge there. So it's combining flashy with simplicity. I, mean, I don't know. It's classy. It's tasteful. I like it. It's got four of the clips, so that's good. I did notice uh, that the one blade, I'm not sure about the other ones. This is the only one that I've seen. I haven't run it yet, it's still. So I know it's this one that I saw is still at the top, but it's kind of like chipped. It's got some fraying or chipping along the edge. I don't know if it came 
like that originally or something happened to it who knows no telling straighten out some of these some of these grill pieces here well let's start this Make sure i got it plugged in start it on the low speed uh these tend to work pretty good even if they've never been cleaned or serviced or anything i ran into quite a few of these in that situation and turned them on and they just they still ran as well as they ever did let's see here's a low A little bit of a slow start. A little bit of a rattle, too. It's got the classic Lasco Galaxy whining, the motor whine. But it does have a rattle. It does have a little bit of a bearing rattle. So, I don't want to run it too much here. <clears throat> I'll go to the medium quickly. Rattles a little more pronounced. High. I'll go back down to low. See what the oscillation has to say. And of course the rattle picks up while the oscillation's on. Oscillation just tends to aggravate any issues. Okay. I've seen enough of that. We'll jump up to high speed one more time. blade may be a little bit out of balance too it's not too bad but it's making a lot of noise see what the spin down has to say you can hear it it's a dry spin down dry bearings pretty good spin down though says a lot about the bearings um so i still have the 12 inch uh, 2150 galaxy fan sitting here from when i made the video on this one i thought it would be fun to put these next to each other just to kind of look at the plastic on these so this one in the light a little bit better. Okay. Good lord. Everything is a struggle today. Anyway, um, take a look at the bases. This one is still like a pristine white. No yellowing. This one looks like just one big coffee stain. Um, and then look at from the back view. What's interesting that I noticed is that the shell on this one is actually darker than this one. But then at the same time, the oscillating knob on this one is yellow. This one's white. I don't know. I have no explanation. Just observation. I have no idea how plastic is made or how to explain any of it. It's just weird and interesting, but cool fans. 
and this one is obviously going to need proper servicing so i'll get that done at some point and possibly make another video after that maybe do a comparison video with another fan or something like that i don't know but that's it for now thanks for watching